Can you guys hear me? Hello? You listen? Oh, okay, now it's working. So, welcome. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, so, my name is Rafael Rosa. I work for Internap, and today I'm going to talk about our cloud, uh, our cloud product, which is using uh, OpenStack. So, uh, just a sec. Okay, one more time. Sorry, <laughs> uh, wrong slide set. So I work for Internet and iWeb. Uh, we are a hosting company, an internet service company. We provide uh, infrastructure services like colocation, hosting, and uh, cloud and network network services like CDN, IP, uh, uh, high performance IP, and other things like that. So we are hosting more than thirteen thousand clients on data centers spread around the world. And we, we have data centers in North America, in Europe, in Asia. and Asia. Uh, and we have more than 750 employees. In December 2013, uh, Internet bought iWeb, which is a Canadian company. And that's where I'm from. Uh, and, uh, and so that's it. I'll show you briefly what do we provide as products, right? So our portfolio is quite big, and it's focused on two main things, performance and flexibility. We provide. All those products, like cloud, bare metal, dedicated server, and collocation, and allow our clients to use them in conjunction. So you can have, for example, a bare metal server and collocation uh, systems and make them work together. And the same goes for cloud. Uh, all of this is provided with accelerated networking that we have from our POPs managed services and a single control, uh, control panel that you can use to manage everything. So these are the places where we have data centers. The ones in green are the ones that are managed by Internet, owned and operated by Internet. The ones in blue are the ones that we have partners around the world. Um, and, uh, and we are always expanding our network. So we have most, we're mostly concentrating in, in North America, but we are expanding. So, but how did we get here? How did we get to the point that we're talking about OpenStack? So in the beginning, Internet and iWeb were pretty much a traditional hosting company. So we offered hosting, colocation, network services. That's what everybody does. That's very traditional. And then came a time when the cloud became a thing, uh, the future. The future of hosting is the cloud. And we decided to take, take a leap and provide a new product that is going to take advantage of all uh, the cloud things like self-service self uh, purchases, um, <laughs> Sorry. API, paper use, and other things. So to do that, we chose to use OpenStack. OpenStack is a good platform for what we want to do. It's created by the brightest people that we have, a big community, a welcoming community, a community that wants to share knowledge. And that's very good for us. We don't need to reinvent the wheel every time that we want to create a new system or we want to provide a new service. We can use the expertise of this community to help us provide a better product for our clients. And uh, back in, that, in 2010, that's when we started looking at OpenStack. So we already had some, some commits done in Baxter. So since Baxter, we are already contributing code. And we are providing, uh, we're trying to work with the community to provide a better OpenStack for everybody and trying to improve the, the, the ecosystem for everybody. So here is a brief uh, summary of all the contributions that we made. Uh, we had a lot of contributions also during this, the Havana Grizzly period. And during this time, we, we, we had um, lots of contributions for Cinder, for example. We use SolidFire, and we provide a lot of uh, help to create the Cinder uh, driver for SolidFire. And we committed code for that. And we also helped a lot with the StackForge project, which is the puppet automation for installation of OpenStacks. Uh, one of our contributors, by the way, is uh, Mathieu Gagné. Perhaps you guys have seen him during the videos that were shown today. 
uh, during the keynote, he was elected super user because of his contributions, both on code and also as a reviewer. So we are very proud of the, the contributions that InternApp and iWeb made to the OpenStack project. So, OK, this is how we got to use uh, OpenStack. This is how we interact with the community. But how do we make OpenStack something that is unique, that is something that's different from what we have on the market, that's better for, uh, for our clients, and that goes, uh, it uh, it's, uh, provides the values that we see on the internet, right? We decided to get OpenStack and change a little bit how we deploy. We chose the right stack for the job. In this case, we decided to use an all SSD storage solution because we want to have the best performance for our clients. So if you, you, we offer two different kinds of flavors. You can have ephemeral storage with instance SSDs, or you can have persistent storage using solid fire. On, this, on both situations, you're using SSDs. And we're providing the best performance that we can on the storage side. Uh, the other thing that is very important for our clients is performance guarantees. Our clients come to us because they want the best performance. They, they don't want to suffer from issues like noisy, noisy neighbors or paying for for performance that they're not getting. So how we do that? We created different flavors that provide yeah, guaranteed CPU threads for each one of those clients. And they are, we, are, we don't over, oversell the CPU for those flavors. And that allows the clients to use a full thread of CPU when they, when they chose that, when they choose that, those flavors. Uh, on the storage side, we provide iOS, uh, QoS on, I, on, on IOPS on solid fire. You can, for each volume that you create, you can set up how many IOPS that specific volume can use. In that way, we guarantee that the client will have access to the performance in the storage I.O. that he needs when the time comes. Another thing that's coming soon is that we're going to provide through the same API and through the same control panel uh, bare metal flavors running on OpenStack. So instead of creating a VM, you can tr you'll be able to instantiate a bare metal machine that will be provisioned in a couple minutes, and you have the full VM for you, no sharing. You're the single tenant inside that VM. And for some clients, that's very important because that you can extract all the performance that you need from that's, that's the single machine. Another thing that we did, and uh, it's very important for us, is how can we deliver the best networking experience for our clients? We do that by improving the network in creating cross-platform setups. So what happens is, let's say, as I mentioned, you can have machines running on our OpenStack cloud, and then you can have other different servers, like database servers, running on bare metal machines on the hosting side. Or you can even have legacy uh, infrastructure running on colocation, and you want all those things connected. You can do that through our networks. You, only, you, you create those machines, connect to them, and you have a private network that you can can use to transfer data across all those infrastructures. This allows you to choose the right, the right infrastructure for each job. And we also use our Miro technology that provides the best, uh, it, it provides a fast access, uh, the low latency connection by choosing which uh, ISPs it should use for each client on a real time basis. Uh, on top of all this, you have a single pane of glass that is a single uh, uh, one, one place that you can manage all those resources with the same features, with the same UI, and with the same support. And that's very easy for users because they don't need to learn two different tools to use our infrastructure services. So in the end, what we were able to create is uh, an evolution. We can, we, can, we can allow clients to move from the cloud to colocation and vice versa, depending on their needs. So let's say that you have small deployments, or you have elastic workloads, or you create a new infrastructure. All of this is much easier to, be do, to, to, to do if you're using the cloud. You don't need to think about it. It's very easy, quick, click, click, click. In five clicks, you have it working. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated if you need bare metal. But we allow them to evolve. After some time, perhaps you need more performance or you need dedicated servers. We allow you to add those servers as you need and take advantage of them and go up to, the, to colocation. That's very good for people moving legacy workloads that are running on old machines, but they want to use the cloud. And they don't need to, say, to choose one or another. They can mix them as they need. Uh, I'll, I'll use a couple of clients that we have using our OpenStack platform 
to, exp to showcase how flexible it is. So the first one is uh, Carl Jr. This is a very interesting case. He's a 17-year-old guy that is a pro gamer. He is the, the world champion of Trackmania 2 st uh, staging uh, on the, uh, on the um, Electronic Sports World Cup. So this is a 17-year-old kid that, has, uh, that used the cloud to create servers so he can train with, him, with his friends and alone. He, this guy trains six hours, eight hours, doing this, uh, the, this racing game every day when he's training for competitions, and he uses the cloud. He's a very small user. One cloud is good enough for him. We allow him to, to do that on our cloud. That's the card that he uses sometimes when, uh, when he's uh, playing on games that are uh, sponsored by iWeb. Another use case which is more bigger, much bigger, and very interesting is Cortica. Cortica provides uh, real-time uh, uh, image recognition software that can, can be used, for example, to recognize a picture and choose the best ad that goes with that picture. Imagine that your, your clients are uploading a picture of a beach. So it, their software can recognize that and then provide, for example, the best travel ads based on the picture without need, anybody needing to add meta tags to that picture, and that's very cool. It's very it's automated. Everything's automated, and it uses a lot of resources. They use machine learning uh, to, to accomplish that. And most of the times, they use bare metal machines to, to do this, because that's be the best cost benefit uh, for their use case. But the thing is, they also use the cloud for POCs and dev and test. So th this is a, we give them the flexibility of using the cloud to access their, 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 share, their bare metal machines and, and make their systems work. And they don't need to choose. They are choosing the best tool for the job. The last case is Boink. Boink is a, a company that provides unlimited music streaming uh, and downloads for mobile apps uh, in Venezuela and Chile. So you, they provide this unlimited streaming, and they are hosted with us. And they use all our products. They use a bit of uh, cloud. They use a bit of hosting. They use a bit of colocation. And they use uh, our networking services as CDN. So they use CDN to deliver the, the, the media to, the, to their clients. They use the cloud for, for some test and dev and for some uh, elastic workloads that they can spin up and down when they need. They use hosting, and hosting for their media uh, for their media storage, and they use colocation as DR and also other types of media storage. So they use all the services together, and they can deliver the best, uh, the best solution uh, for their clients. They can deliver the best performance for their clients, and they can use the right tool for the job. It's always the right tool for the job. Our main focus is delivering performance and flexibility, right? So today, we announced the next generation Agile Cloud, that is GA today. It's running on OpenStack Avana. Uh, you, you can have access for our site. You can use the, the API to provision new machines. Uh, just go up and sign up. Uh, as we told, we told you, it's all SSD-based. The, the network is designed to work in hybrid environments. We, are, we will have bare metal flavors coming soon. And you have the single pane of, of glass to manage all those services, be them cloud, cloud Cloud products, bare metal, that, uh, or colocation. So uh, that's what I had. Uh, thank you very much for coming. If you want more information, please visit us at booth D7. We'll be there to provide more info and to clarify any questions. Thank you.